Hello everyone. I'll be teaching you how to track FedEx and UPS packages online with Google Sheets and Google Apps Scripts. There are no prerequisites for this class. Someone can know nothing about programming or Google Sheets and take this course. Although this is a short course, it teaches an incredibly useful and powerful skill to have. If you're already an expert on Google Sheets and Google Apps Script, just watch the demo video and check for the link to the example sheet and be on your merry way. All videos, source code, and materials are available to download, and copying and implementing the script can be done in only a few minutes. Hello everyone, I wanted to give a quick demo of how the Google Sheet works. I have two examples of tracking numbers, which the Google Sheet is capable of checking the shipment status of. Um, you just click on the track button and the script will run and it will tell you the delivery status of the tracking number right next to the tracking number. You go to tools and script editor. You can see the underlying source code that will run this script. If you're already an expert, um, just copy the sheet and run the sh sheet for yourself. In the next lesson, I will be teaching you how the script runs. Hello everyone. In this lesson, we will be signing up for a Google account. That way we have access to Google Sheets. This is completely free and provided by Google. Google provides a variety of applications for free when you sign up for them. They have Google Docs, Google Sheets, and Google Slides, and more. Those things are very similar to Microsoft's own applications, um, such as Microsoft Office, um, and Microsoft PowerPoint, and Microsoft Excel. In this course, we're only dealing with Google Sheets, but know that Google Sheets is very similar to Microsoft Excel. They're both spreadsheets applications that will allow you to manipulate numbers and words um, to do analysis on those. So, but first we need an account. So we will go to google.com slash gmail or you can even go to a web browser go to google.com and search google gmail so we're going to click on google.com slash gmail you're going to click on create an account i want to sign up for google gmail by putting in our information Um, so make sure when you're creating a password to have a very unique um, password with uh, numbers and capital letters and symbols. Okay, enter your date of birth. I'll be making up um, a day of birth for me. Because this is just an example, and I won't be using this account for real. Agree to the privacy terms. Uh, 
It'll only take a few moments to get our account ready. Okay, here's a welcome page, and here is our our email inbox. So when you sign up for a Google email account, as I've mentioned previously, you have access to a bunch of free applications Google provides for free. To access them, click on this grid box in the top right corner. Now, to access Google Sheets, what you need to do is click on Drive, click on New. Um, this is just a, a tip box window that is only shows up during your first lo uh, login. So I'm, I'm just going to exit out of that. So click on New, click on Google Sheets. Then it opens up a brand new blank Google Sheet. Now, when you open up, it, if you use Chrome as your primary web browser, you can always access Google Sheets by clicking a new tab, clicking the, um, the grid box icon. And then go clicking on, on Drive, and and then it'll be provided to you, to your um, to your personal drive. If you're unaware what the drive is, it is a online storage application where you can input any files you want. Um, you you can start uploading pictures or PDFs or. Um, miscellaneous files that you want to store on Google's servers and then you can access them from any account that you've shared those files with um, so I can demonstrate that uh, briefly for example if you want to sh sh share this spreadsheet click on share um, na name the file Sheet to share, and then you can enter an email address, and there will be I have access to the sheet as well. You can you can choose the level of access to the sheet. Sometimes you would want the person to only comment or view the sheet rather than edit. And you can adjust that by clicking the pencil icon and clicking the, the desired level of edit permission you want. And you click send. Hello everyone, in this lesson we'll be learning how to open up previously created spreadsheets in the Google Drive. So when you go to google.com after you've been logged in into your email, you'll notice that the top right corner has changed. Your, your Gmail, your images, and the app grid icon appears. Click on the grid and then click on the, the drive button. You notice that the sh sheet we created earlier called sheet to share is located on, on the drive. Let's click on that spreadsheet. The relevant spreadsheet has opened up. Now let's ch check on another portion 
of the Google Business Suite. When you click on the spreadsheet icon on the top left corner, it brings us to a dedicated landing page for dedicated to only Google Sheets. Um, this is a welcoming page that you only see the first time when you enter this application. Let's just exit that. So this is the dedicated section of the Google Drive only dedicated to Google Sheets. If we go back to the drive, we notice that the layout is pretty similar. If we create a, a Google Doc, it will look very similar to the Google sh Sheet portion. Notice how as I'm switching between the Google Docs and the Google Sheets portion of the Google Drive, they look very similar. But both Google Sheets and Google Docs are dedicated within the Google Drive. They just have the Google Drive just has subsections dedicated to the Google Docs and Google Sheets. Now